So now we're going to use Huntington Hill method to apportion 75 seats in Rhode Island. Uh, so the initial divisor, you might remember, was 14,034, uh, 23. Uh, and so that gave us our original quotas. Now from those, we find our lower quota, which remember is just the round down value, uh, and then our geometric mean, which remember is our number times the number plus 1, square root of that. Uh, so our geometric means here are 3.46, 11.49, 5.48, 44.50, uh, and 9.49. And so in our initial allocation, remember we compare the quota to the geometric mean. If the quota is bigger, we go up. 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 And if the quota is smaller, we go down. And that gives us, uh-oh, 76 seats that we've allocated. That's not a good thing. Uh, and so that means we're going to ch need to change our divisor. So like we did with Webster's method, let's try um, increasing our divisor up to 14,100. 14, so after calculating our new quotas, um, the lower quotas are the same, the geometric means will be the same, but so now, now we can compare quotas bigger than geometric mean up, quota bigger, quota bigger, quota smaller, and quota smaller. And when we add those up, ah, there we go, there's our 75 seats allocated, which is what we were looking for. Now, it turns out that this is, you might notice, exactly the same apportionment that we would get from Webster's method, uh, but that's not always the case, like we'll see next.